Horseshoe Falls at Niagara Falls it is the tallest waterfall in the world, but Niagara Falls is certainly impressive in its scope and power. Niagara Falls is comprised of three waterfalls, the largest of which is Horseshoe Falls, straddling the border between the USA and Canada. The water cascades 614 feet down Niagara Gorge. The falls can be viewed from a number of viewpoints in New York and Ontario. Cave of the Winds is one of the most unique viewpoints. Here, you will descend 175 feet into the Niagara Gorge. To experience the power of the falls mid-flow from the hurricane deck, you'll be given a rain jacket because you will get wet. One of Mother Nature's most soothing yet exhilarating and beautiful creations in the world is the waterfall. There is just something mesmerizing about watching water tumbling off a rock face into a pool or raging river beneath. The noise it makes, it's magical. There are thousands and thousands of waterfalls strewn across the world, but no all are created equal. 10 Fun Facts About Niagara Falls Niagara Falls is overflowing with natural beauty and with history. These interesting facts about Niagara Falls. New York might come in handy during your next trivia game or for your kiddos school project. Three falls is better than one. The fact that we refer to the falls collectively as Niagara Falls leads many to believe that we're talking about one giant waterfall when, in fact, there are three. The aptly named American Falls are on the U.S. side, as are the Lacey Bridal Veil Falls. The Horseshoe Falls are almost entirely on the Canadian side. The falls are young, geologically speaking. Niagara Falls was formed from the same glacial melt activity that from the Great Lakes at the end of the last ice age, some 12,000 years ago. That may seem like eons to us. But it's just a blink of an eye in the grander scheme. Speaking of the past, Niagara Falls is America's oldest state park, an impassioned group of environmentalists. To thank for what is today Niagara Falls State Park, one of those environmentalists, landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted, of Central Park fame, who would later design the park. Troubled by its commercial activity occurring on the river, these saviors encourage New York State to buy up the land surrounding the falls to keep it safe from exploitation. As a result, in 1885, the park was established as the Niagara Reservation. It's not the tallest waterfall in America, but how tall is Niagara? Niagara Falls' vertical height is over 176 feet in some sections. That's nothing to scoff at, but it pales in comparison to the continental United States' tallest waterfall. Yosemite Falls which tops out at 2,425 feet, but it lacks in vertical size. Niagara Falls makes up for in horizontal size, and in volume, more than 700,000 gallons of water per second pour over Niagara Falls, rushing over at about 25 miles per hour. That makes Niagara Falls the largest in North America by volume and by width. Yep, that's a lot of water. Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron, and Erie drain into the mighty Niagara River before emptying into Lake Ontario. Put the five Great Lakes together, and you get the world's largest freshwater system. It's pretty powerful stuff. Back in 1985, Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse created the world's first hydroelectric power plant in Niagara Falls. These days, the falls are capable of generating 4 million kilowatts of electricity which is enough to supply more than a quarter of all the power used in New York State and in Ontario, Canada. No wonder so many people visit. More than 8 million visitors explore in Niagara Falls State Park annually, coming from all over the world. The first person to go over to Niagara Falls in a barrel was 63-year-old schoolteacher Annie Edison Taylor. She suffered only a concussion and a minor cut on her head. At least a dozen people have survived the plunge. Numerous others have lost their lives. By the way, stunting at Niagara Falls is illegal and includes hefty fines and possible jail time. Fish, however, fare better than people. Yes, fish do plunge over the falls, and it's estimated that almost all of them survive, thanks to their ability to flow with water. Sometimes, however, they are a bit stunned. After making the journey, but those who escape the circling seagulls shake it off and swim away. Going, going. The falls were originally located seven miles downriver near what is now Lewiston. The brink has slowly eroded to fall's current location. Niagara Falls' current erosion rate is approximately one foot per year and could possibly be reduced to one foot per 10 years due to flow control and diversion for hydropower generation. Eventually, through likely tens of thousands of years from now they disappear into Lake Erie. 